The Saab 29 Tonnen, also known as the Flying Barrel, is one of the first jet fighters with a swept wing design. The Swedish aerospace company Saab AB created the Saab 29 Tonnen in the late 1940. The story of the Saab 29 began in the aftermath of the Second World War, when Sweden, a neutral country, found itself lagging behind the rapid technological progress made by the warring nation, especially in the field of jet propulsion and aerodynamic. Saab, the main Swedish aircraft manufacturer, needed to catch up and design a new fighter that could defend the country from any potential threat. Saab's design team, led by Lars Breezing, presented two proposal, one that resembled the American Lockheed P-80 shooting star, and another that had a barrel-like fuselage and a straight wing. The second one was chosen, as it proved to be faster and more agile. However, the design was soon modified, when Saab obtained access to German research data on swept wing and their positive effect on high-speed performance. The data was acquired from Switzerland, where some German scientists had fled after the war. As a result, the Saab 29 Tonnen became the first Western European design to have a swept wing layout of 25 degrees rearward, only being preceded in Western Europe as a whole by the Messerschmitt Me 262 built during the conflict. The Saab 29 Tonnen had a distinctive appearance, with a single central air intake placed at the nose, a bubble cockpit that provided excellent visibility, and thin swept back wing. The fuselage had a large cross section, due to the size of the engine, a Halford H2 Ghost turbojet, which gave the aircraft its nickname, the Flying Barrel. The Swedish Air Force ordered three prototype of the Saab 29 in 1946, and the first prototype flew for the first time on September 1, 1948, piloted by Robert Moore. The flight testing proved that the aircraft exceeded the performance estimate and reached a top speed of 1,035 km per hour, making it one of the fastest aircraft in the world at the time. The Tunnen also demonstrated a very good agility and maneuverability, thanks to its swept wing and powerful engine. However, the aircraft also had some drawbacks, such as a high landing speed, a long takeoff run, and a tendency to pitch up at high angles of attack. These issues were later resolved by adding wing fences, flaps, and a stabilizer trim. The Saab 29 Tunnen entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1951 and became the main fighter and fighter bomber of the country until the 1960s. The Tunnen was comparable to its contemporary, such as the US-made F-86 Sabre and the Soviet-made MiG-15 and was able to intercept and engage them in mock dogfight during various exercises and encounters. The Tunnen was produced in five main variants, the J-29A, the first model to enter service, the J-29B, with increased fuel capacity and external stores, the J-29E, with an improved radar and fire control system, the J-29F, the final fighter variant, with an afterburner that increased the thrust by 25%, and the S-29C, a dedicated reconnaissance version with cameras and extra fuel tanks. A total of 661 tonnes were built between 1950 and 1956, making it the most numerous aircraft produced by Saab, as well as the longest lived design in service. The Saab 29 tonnen saw combat action in the 1960, when Sweden sent a detachment of five J-29B to the Republic of Congo as part of a UN peacekeeping mission. The Tunnens flew over 1,500 sorties, mostly in the ground attack role, and supported the UN force against the Katangese rebel. The Tunnens performed well in the harsh condition and did not suffer any losses, despite being attacked by ground fire and hostile fighters. The Tunnens were also operated by the Austrian Air Force, which bought 30 J-29 FS in 1961 and used them until 1972. The Saab 29 had a length of 10.23 meters, a wingspan of 11 meters, a height of 3.75 meters, and a wing area of 24.15 square meters. The Tunnen is a jet fighter with a thin mid-wing that has a 25-degree sweep back and a laminar flow profile. It has a single tail and a single engine, like most of the first-generation jet fighter. It uses a central straight-through airflow system to maximize thrust. It has two tubular pitot sensor at the wing tip, 
It has automatic locking leading edge slots that are connected to the flaps to improve lateral stability during takeoff and landing. It was later upgraded with an afterburner and a dog tooth leading edge on the wing, which increased its Mach speed. It also has trim tab and dive brake, which were first on the wings and then moved to the fuselage, just ahead of the main landing door. The Tunnin had a bubble-shaped canopy that covered the cockpit, which was right over the engine air intake and ahead of the wing's leading edge. The pilot could enter and exit by sliding the canopy backwards. The design also used the ejector seat that Saab had developed in 1943, along with an explosive jettison system to clear the canopy before ejection. The Tunnin had a tricycle landing gear, with the back wheels folding into the body and a front wheel under the nose. This helped to make the wings slim. The tail fin had a straight back edge and a rounded top, and it was positioned over and behind the jet nozzle. The horizontal tail wing was attached near the bottom of the tail fin. The Tunnin was a fast fighter, thanks to its engine and aerodynamics. It was also very agile and tough. It survived a lot of gunfire during a UN mission in the Congo. The Tunnin was powered by a Svenska Fligmotor RM2B turbojet engine, which was a license-built version of the British Havilland Ghost engine. The engine had a dry thrust of 5,004 lbf and an afterburning thrust of 6,182 lbf. The Saab 29 Tunnin had an empty weight of 9,480 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 17,637 pounds. The Tunnin had a maximum speed of 1,059 kilometers per hour and a service ceiling of 15,500 meters. The Saab 29 Tunnin had a range of 1,100 kilometers on internal fuel and 1,800 kilometers with drop tanks. The Saab 29 was equipped with four 20mm Hispano Mark V cannons mounted in the lower part of the nose. These cannons were capable of firing 600 rounds per minute. The Saab 29 Tunnin had 10 hardpoints for carrying various weapons and external fuel tank. Four of these were located under the forward fuselage and six were under the wings. It can carry up to two heat-seeking missiles, such as the RB-24 Sidewinder and various types of rocket for different targets. The rocket ranged from 75mm to 180mm in size and can destroy ground targets such as tank. The Tunnin was retired from Swedish service in 1976 and from Austrian service in 1972. The Saab 29 Tunnin was a remarkable achievement for Swedish aviation and a pioneer of the swept-wing jet fighter. It was a fast and agile aircraft that earned the respect of its pilots and adversaries. It was also a unique and memorable aircraft that earned the affectionate nickname of the Flying Barrel.